Um, so, two questions about Curious Incident. Uh -huh. I, I took my students to see it when it was in London, and we went back to the stage door and talked to Graham Butler, yeah. who was playing uh, Christopher. Gorgeous actor, yeah. And we were talking to him about the play and the production and, and what was, as an actor, what it was like to do that. And one of the students asked him about a very important scene at the end, when all of a sudden this adorable, huggable, cute puppy yeah. appears on stage yeah. and the whole audience just melts. Yeah. And he said... <laughs> Apart from my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, carry on, carry on. Carry he on. said, here we are. Yeah. We've been working our butts off for yeah. two hours, yeah. and here's this puppy that pops up, yeah. and it gets more responsibility. <laughs> so, do you feel bad that you've done that? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, it's, I mean, it's really, it's really, really interesting. The presence of the puppy. Um, my wife who you've not met but had electronic correspondence with yes uh and uh my very like the person i'd possibly describe as my closest male friend who's uh sean holmes who's the artistic director of the lyric hammersmith mm -hmm. um who i've known for a long time and you know both said exactly the same thing to me sean when he saw me a few days after he'd seen it and polly when she was sitting next to me in the second preview where she thumped me on the arm and whispered, a fucking puppy. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but um, in, uh, in, in defense of that particular casting choice and that production choice, I'd, 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 I'd go to what Polly said in the, in the car on the way home after. Which she said, it's brilliant that it's a puppy. It's brilliant because the work of that show has been, as Graham says, for two hours, people working their butts off so that the audience can see the world in the way that Christopher sees the world. And it's a struggle that they nearly reach. You know, on occasion they glimpse it. Sometimes it illuminates their own world and they find that moving or inspiring. Sometimes it illuminates the limitations in his perception and they find it heartbreaking. They never completely get it until they see the puppy. And then when they see the puppy, they are completely seeing the world like Christopher. And I think they're doing more than just being moved by the cuteness of the puppy. I think they're celebrating their connection with this person they've fallen in love with. I think, that, I think that's a...